Today we're going to dive into the focus map feature on the Sony a7 IV, take a look at how it works and discuss when it can become an invaluable tool in the filmmaking process. The focus map is a tool that visually represents which parts of your image are in focus. It does this by creating a color overlay on your screen. The part of your image that is in focus has no color overlay. The parts of the image that are red or orange are in front of your current focal plane and the parts that are blue are behind your focal plane. Let me show you a quick example of this so you can wrap your head around how it works. So currently I've got the camera set to autofocus and I've got a spot focus meter on the camera. As you can see I'm racking focus between the Lego set in the background and the plant in the foreground. When the focus map is turned on you can see that the areas that are in focus have no color overlay. When the plant is in focus, the Lego set in the background has a blue overlay and this indicates that that focal plane is behind the current point of focus. When the Lego set is in focus, the plant has a red and orange overlay and this represents the fact that those parts of the image are in front of your current focal plane. As you can see, when there is sufficient light in the frame, the autofocus feature can be very reliable and we can clearly see what is in and out of focus. However, when it starts getting darker and you feel like you can't bump your ISO up anymore because you don't want to introduce too much noise into the image, that is when the focus map is at its most useful. What I've done is I've dropped my ISO down to simulate an environment where there isn't much light available, turned on my focus map and set my lens to manual focus. Now I can manually rack focus in my shot and have the confidence to know what's in shot, what's in front of my focal plane and what's behind my focal plane through this visual representation. This focus mapping tool becomes an absolute game changer in the event space, particularly when you're shooting at night time and there isn't enough light. At this point in time, it's typical to find that your autofocus doesn't seem as reliable as when there's plenty of light in the scene. Some might argue that you could simply use your focus peaking feature to make sure that you're nailing your focus. However, if your environment is really dark and the only monitor you have available is a small one on the back of your camera, it's gonna be really difficult to pick up those focus peaking lines. This is where the focus mapping feature becomes an invaluable tool in the filmmaking process. With the color overlay, there's no mistaking what is in and out of focus in your shot, even if you're only using that small monitor on the back of the screen. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other useful scenarios for using the focus mapping feature. If you found this video informative at all, give it a like and subscribe to the channel to catch more videos in the future. I'll catch you guys in the next one.